to Wilma Chan Park in honor of her legacy of dedication and service to Chinatown, Asian American Pacific Islander and Oakland communities. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to open this up, we will um, have some very brief remarks from myself and two of my partners from the Asian Health Services, uh, Julia Liao and Tu Quach, if you could raise your hands, that will make sure that we can get to you after my brief remarks. And Madam Clerk, I would like to share my screen, which um, I believe I have the capacity to do. We have just a couple of slides we want to share. Okay, there we go. Um, I hope you all can see the slides. So it is my honor to bring this resolution forward. I respectfully request the renaming of Madison Park to Wilma Chan Park in honor of her legacy and dedication and service to Chinatown, the Asian Pacific and the Asian American and Pacific Islander community and Oakland communities. Her exceptional career in public service had a transformational uplifting impact on the wellness of so many Oakland and Alameda County residents, especially our underserved and uninsured communities. In the wake of her tragic passing, a groundswell of community organizations and leaders, public servants and residents rallied around her legacy and loved ones, including several community organizations that provide critical wellness and cultural services and they approached, my they approached my office expressing with conviction a shared desire to rename uh, Madison Park in honor of Wilma Chan. I am proud to spearhead this renaming effort and I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to work closely with Supervisor Chan. The issues we worked on included homelessness, affordable housing, mental health services, improving Chinatown and expanding food access for families in the flatlands and San Antonio neighborhood. And because our districts ge uh, overlapped geographically, it was a real um, honor to work very concretely on these issues. I want to thank the Asian Health Services for working with my office to lead this effort to honor Woman Chan's legacy and to the many individuals and organizations who are supportive, including Wilma Chan's family. And in the meeting packet, you will, you will find the list of supporters. Some of them you will see on the screen. And there's also a link to the petition with almost 400 signatures. This uh, resolution was moved forward unanimously by the Parks and Recreation Advisory Commission and also to our council by the Rules and Legislation uh, Committee. I want to thank President Pro Tem Tao and Council Member Kaplan for co-sponsoring. And just to wrap up, want to share that the park, which is located in the heart of Chinatown, is both materially and symbolically an embodiment of Supervisor Chan's service and passion for underserved communities, being a longtime cultural activity hub activated nearly daily with vibrant community-led programming. And I do want to invite uh, two members of the Asian Health Services to speak briefly as they partnered with me on this effort and they have been instrumental in activating Madison Park. And first, um, I will bring up Julia Liao, who is the CEO of Asian Health Services. Go ahead. Hey, thank you, President Bass. Uh, good afternoon, President Bass and council members. Um, I want to thank uh, President Bass, President Pro Tem Tao and Vice Mayor Kaplan for co-sponsoring this resolution of renaming Madison Park in honor of Supervisor Wilma Chan. Madison Square Park has been an important part of the fabric of the Oakland Chinatown neighborhood with deep historical roots to Chinatown's early years. It was part of the original three blocks that housed the Ming Kuang Home for Girls and True Sunshine Episcopal Church. Madison is not only historic green space, for the Chinatown community, it is also a multi-generational community hub for our residents, our local schools, 
community-based organizations, and community health centers like Asian Health Services. It's a historic and critical asset for hundreds and thousands of community members and a destination for community rallies and vigils, a safe space for exercise for both young and old, and has served as a critical hub during COVID for services like our testing and vaccination sites. It was one of the few outdoor spaces in the neighborhood that really gathered together our community members with similar interests and in providing critical social cohesion during the pandemic. Just as Madison Park has had a deep history and legacy supporting our elders, children, and immigrant families, Wilma Chan has also had a deep history and legacy of serving as a staunch champion for our immigrant communities, fighting for health care in language and immigrant rights while advocating for underserved communities and access to healthy food. This is why we, as the Oakland Chinatown community, feel it is most fitting that Supervisor Wilma Chan's legacy as a stateswoman and pioneer be recognized through renaming of Madison Park in her honor on this May Day of AAPI Heritage Month. Now I'd like to turn it over to my colleague, Tu Quach. All right, hi. Good afternoon. My name is Tu Quach. I'm the president at Asian Health Services. Wilma Chan was a champion of the people, evidenced by how often she came out and met our community where they were at. Wilma often visited Madison Park to support the many events that Asian Health Services and our partners held there. Most memorable is when she spoke at our One Nation rally in 2019 to fight against a harmful public charge rule. You saw a picture of that earlier. It was the first ever held rally at Madison Park and the images of her speaking powerfully into the mic really capture her spirit as well as what Madison brings to the community. When COVID hit and Asian Health Services advocated with the county to allow us to start the first Asian multilingual testing site at Madison Park in July of 2020, Wilma was one of the first ones to get tested there and continued to come back to use our services to show her support. She was a big proponent of ensuring equitable access to COVID services, including in-language testing and vaccinations at Madison Park. And this was critical, particularly for the Asian American community, but open to all communities in the area. In loving memory of this incredible leader, it would be so befitting to name this park after the late Wilma Chan so that we can continue to work tire tirelessly towards peace and justice, just like she would have wanted us to. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Julia and Tu. We really appreciate your partnership and everything you have done to activate Madison Park as well as to uplift uh, Wilma Chan's legacy. Um, so this is a public hearing. So members of the public who wish to speak, please raise your hand or press star nine if you are on the phone. And I do want to appreciate those speakers who already spoke uh, during public comment. Um, so while members of the public are deciding if they want to speak on this item, I want to hear first from my co-sponsors, uh, Vice Mayor Kaplan and then President Pro Tem Tao, and then we will take the public comment on this item. Vice Mayor Kaplan. Thank you so much, Madam President, and thank you for leading in bringing of this item. And I'm very honored to co-author with you and to strongly support this resolution, renaming Madison Park to Wilma Chan Park. I want to make sure that we uplift and support the legacy of supervisor and assembly member and community leader and school board member and dedicated public servant, Wilma Chan, for all of the incredible work she has done to serve our communities. And particularly, I appreciate the proposal with the community to rename Madison Park, which has been such a hub for so many of these vital community needs that Wilma Chan fought for, including, as has been mentioned, the COVID testing and the safe COVID vaccinations with the outdoor environment, allowing these activities to be conducted uh, safely and accessibly. 
uh, with providing language access for these services and others, and also to continue to uplift and support Wilma Chan's dedicated work on healthcare, on protecting and strengthening the public hospitals and community health clinics and access to healthy food in culturally appropriate and language accessible ways throughout our community. May this park renaming ensure that her commitment and her legacy are remembered and may we continue the work to ensure that the vital projects she was working on from public oversight of the public hospitals to improve funding for the health clinics to healthy food in all of our communities are carried forward. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, President Pro Tem Tao. Thank you so much, um, Council President Bass for um, leading on these efforts and thank you for letting, allowing me to co-sponsor. You know, um, Wilma Chan was just a force to be reckoned with and I think that we all felt that and knew that. I think that uh, what the comments and the commenters said earlier in regards to meeting the community where they were, I mean, that's it. that's Wilma Chan. That's who she was. I remember uh, seeing her, whether it was around, you know, the public charge or anything else, um, uh, specifically in healthcare. You know, healthcare was where she really invested a lot of time and in senior health care as well, too. And so a lot of the voices that are vulnerable, a lot of the voices that are on the margins, she was the voice for them. And we'll always appreciate that. She was a mentor to me and uh, continue to be through her, um, you know, through what she has done and what she will continue to through through uh, other leadership as well. And I know that, um, you know, today is a sad day as we're hearing about the possibility of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. And if she were here, She'd be standing with us strong and tall and demanding that um, folks lay their hands off of women's bodies and their rights uh, to choosing what it is that they would like to do with their body. And so thank you so much, Council President. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you bringing this forward, and I'm happy to join in honoring the late Wilma Chan. Thank you. Um, so let's go to our public uh, commenters next. Uh, Madam Clerk, please go ahead and call the public comments and then we'll go back to the council. Thank you so much. We see a number of hands. Um, Madam Chair, I believe that Julia Liu and Asian Health Services um, did present. I'm not sure if you, she's raised her hand again. So if, if you'd like, I could... Um, uh, she, two names. Uh, she put her hand down so you can start with Les Morones. Thank okay, you. so we will go from Les Morones and then we will hear Sarah Webster Fabio, Miss Olabala, phone number ending in 9932, I believe is Mr. Parker, and Amy Tribe. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. Les, please unmute yourself and you may begin. Les, we see you've unmuted yourself. You may begin your comments. Okay, I'm not sure if we're having some technical difficulties there, but we will move to the next speaker, who is Sarah Webster Fabio. Please unmute yourself if you wish to speak during this time. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Cheryl Fabio, and I'm calling to speak briefly about item number 10. Um, that's the firing of Dr. Sarai Crane. I am. Ex excuse me, Ms. Fabio. Um, I'm sorry, but this is um, a public hearing on the renaming of Madison Park. So um, I had raised my hand to be in the first group. How do I okay. get in the second group? So um, I will make an exception and allow you to speak so we can take your comments into consideration. I, I'm sorry that you weren't uh, included in that first queue. Okay, and, and I don't want to I don't want to impact the celebration, but I do want to say that um, it's a very disturbing trend. It's an ongoing issue. Our community talks about it, and um, and I want to say out loud that during the reimagining public safety, we put forward a recommendation that the Department of Gender-Based Violence be separated from uh, the Department of Violence Prevention. 
for two reasons. One, because I think they're very separate issues and they need to be developed separately, but also because there's a power play there and, and, and it's not appropriate to have that kind of uh, power imbalance. So I just wanted to express my disappointment that uh, such a prolific career has been treated in this way. And I urge you to do the investigation. Thank you. And thanks. Thank you so much. Um, the next speaker is Ms. Olabala. Please unmute yourself and you may begin. Ms. Asada Olabala, if you wish to speak for item 3.2's public hearing, please unmute yourself. Okay, we will come back to Ms. Olabala. Our next speaker is phone number ending in 9932. I believe that's Nino Parker. Please press star six to unmute yourself if you wish to speak on item 3.2. Black homeless advocate, Madam Clerk, with all due respect, I am trying to drop that other name um, uh, because that other name isn't the important one. The important name is Black homeless advocate. Um, so can we just not say my name anymore, thank you. Um, I loved uh, uh, the fact that um, Wilma Chang was in this uh, district. I did actually take myself to some supervisorial meetings and actually uh, uh, actually uh, made a couple comments. I remember during COVID and uh, what she responded to. Um, I think it's a, it is a great honor to uh, uh, name a park after her. But, uh, but, that's, uh, but I'd like to see also, there's a lot of uh, black uh, heroes here in this city, and it doesn't seem like anything's named after. When you go down to the downtown area, you don't see anything named after black heroes. And I don't want to take this away from Wilma's moment, but um, I would like that to happen. But also, um, I would like to mention that that park has also been a, a homeless encampment at, at various times. And I love the fact that someone called in earlier, a gentleman earlier, saying that he was working with the homeless at that uh, particular park. And I hope that uh, we can still make it so there is some kind of leeway so everyone's comfortable um, uh, with um, other people that are less fortunate and have to still be in that particular uh, park. But um, I think it's a great idea. And, and um, uh, I think um, any, any, anybody that's a hero for their community should have something named after them. And that's why I like to see one day some, some things around City Hall named after some of our Black leadership. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments. And Amy Trebe, Trebe is next. Please unmute yourself and you may begin. Hi, my name is Amy Schwang and I'm calling from Tribe Inc. And I just really wanted to call in and say that we support the proposal to rename the park to Wil Wilma Chan Park, just to honor her, um, to just reflect how much we appreciate her and how much we want to carry her work forward. That's it, thank you. Thank you for your comments. Our last two speakers, Peter Gomez and Ms. Olabala. I will give Peter Gomez the opportunity to unmute himself. If you wish to speak, please do so by unmuting yourself, Peter. Peter Gomez. All right, we will move to the last speaker then and give Ms. Olabala another opportunity to speak. Ms. Olabala, if you wish to speak for 3.2, please unmute yourself. Thank you. I never uh, met Ms. Chan or heard of her contributions, but it looks like she had major contributions to uh, the community, but particularly to the, the Asian uh, American Pacific Islander community. And that's wonderful. We need people who support the people that they are part of and give them the, the, the benefit of listening to their communities. And I have the deepest respect for how she has targeted and stayed focused on the Asian community. I hope and pray that people can respect 
and we get leaders from our community, African American community, that put the same amount of work that it appears that she has for the Asian American uh, Pacific Islander community. We need more African Americans to be as dedicated to the needs of our community as she has been, and she deserves this recognition. And uh, I, I just don't feel that we are getting that from our community, African American community. And I hope in the future, we can get that support from our, our black leaders. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Olabala. Um, Madam Chair, I did lower all hands, but it seems the last speaker did re-raise their hand. So we're gonna give Peter um, another opportunity to unmute themselves to speak. If not, we will um, close out public comment for item 3.2. Peter, if you wish to speak, please unmute yourself. Okay, we are not seeing um, this user unmuting themselves, so we're going to go ahead and remove permission. I believe that's the last speaker, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And thank you again to the speakers who spoke during this hearing earlier today and at our Rules Committee and at the Parks and Rec Advisory Commission. We've heard very broad support for the renaming of Madison Park to Wilma Chan Park uh, because of her many contributions. And um, I truly appreciate uh, having worked with her as well as um, having participated in so many events at Madison from being um, COVID tested to uh, joining community healing events shortly after the rise in anti-Asian uh, hate issues as well as the other events that uh, people have spoken of. Um, so I would like to go ahead and make a motion to close the public hearing and adopt the resolution to rename Madison Park to Wilma Chan Park. Second. Thank you. Um, and colleagues, um, I know that, okay, we, if, if you would like to make brief uh, comments, please raise your hand and do so. Um, Council Member Taylor, go ahead. Thank you. I will definitely keep the comments brief because we did have a chance to speak on the incredible legacy of uh, Supervisor Chan in an earlier council meeting, but uh, extremely uh, honored and grateful for the opportunity to vote in support of this. Uh, obviously, this is one of, I know, many acknowledgments that I expect to come forward relative to Supervisor Chan and her significant impact on the on Oakland, on the Bay Area, and on the state. So thank you to the authors uh, and the community leaders who brought this forward. Thank you for that. All right. And seeing no further hands in the queue, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. On the motion to close the public hearing and adopt the resolution moved by President Boss, second by Vice Mayor Kaplan, Council Member. Aye. Council Member Gallo. Aye. Council Member Kalb. Aye. Vice Mayor Kaplan. Aye. Council Member Reed. Aye. Council Member Taylor. Aye. Pro Tem Tao. Aye. And President Boss. Aye. Item 3.2 is approved with the vote, excuse me, with the vote of eight aye. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we will look forward to having a celebration at the park. Uh, thank you to Director Duffy and Public Works for continuing to work with so many members of the community in my office on improvements. Uh, there's lots to come in order to honor her le legacy. So thank you. Um, so next we do have a request from the Oakland Youth Commission to hear their item with Councilmember Taylor, item number seven next, um, so that they are.